Hello everyone, and welcome back to this course on prompt engineering. Today, we will talk about the importance of prompt engineering in the field of AI and machine learning. Prompt engineering is the process of designing prompts that guide or constrain the input to machine learning models. The purpose of prompt engineering is to improve the performance of these models, as well as generate more accurate results. Prompt engineering is becoming increasingly important in various industries and fields, including natural language processing or NLP, computer vision and recommendation systems. By leveraging prompt engineering, we can make these models more reliable and efficient and ensure that they meet the needs of users. We will cover several topics related to prompt engineering including the process of drafting and refining prompts, the different type of prompts, priming prompts, and task decomposition. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture. Lecture 2. The process of drafting and refining prompts. In this lecture, we will explore the process of drafting and refining prompts in prompt engineering, which is a critical step in creating effective prompts for machine learning models. The process of drafting and refining prompts involves several steps, including understanding the task or problem, identifying user needs and preferences, brainstorming and drafting initial prompts, testing and refining the prompts, and finally, implementing and evaluating the prompts in the machine learning model. The first step in this process is to understand the task or problem that the machine learning model will be used for. This involves identifying the specific goals, constraints, and requirements of the task, as well as any relevant context or background information. The next step is to identify the needs and preferences of the users who will be providing input to the machine learning model. This might involve conducting user research, such as surveys or interviews, to better understand how users approach the task and what types of prompts might be most effective. Once the task and user needs have been defined, the next step is to brainstorm and draft initial prompts. This might involve generating a range of possible prompts based on different types of prompting, formats, and styles. After the initial prompts have been drafted, the next step is to test and refine the prompts. This might involve conducting usability testing where users are asked to provide input using the prompts and their performance and feedback is evaluated. Based on this testing, prompts can be refined and improved, such as by adjusting the wording, format or frequency of the prompts. Finally, the refined prompts are implemented and evaluated in the machine learning model. This might involve testing the performance of the model using the prompts and making any necessary adjustments based on the results. Throughout this process, it's important to maintain a focus on user needs and preferences, and to be willing to iterate and refine the prompts based on feedback and testing. By taking a structured and iterative approach to drafting and refining prompts, we can create more effective and useful prompts for machine learning models, which can lead to better performance and user satisfaction. Overall, the process of drafting and refining prompts is a critical step in prompt engineering. By following a structured and iterative approach and keeping the focus on user needs and preferences, we can create more effective and useful prompts for machine learning models which can improve performance and provide better results to users. With all that being said, I am glad that you've stuck with me up to the end of this lecture and I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will be talking about types of prompting. So, see you there! Lecture 3. Types of prompting In this lecture, we will explore the different types of prompting that can be used in prompt engineering to improve the performance of machine learning models. Prompting is the process of providing users with specific guidance or cues to help them provide more accurate and relevant input to the machine learning model. There are several types of prompting that can be used in different contexts, including explicit prompts, implicit prompts, and adaptive prompts. 
Explicit prompts are direct cues, or instructions provided to users to guide their input. For example, in a natural language processing task, an explicit prompt might ask users to provide a specific type of response or input. Implicit prompts are more subtle cues or hints provided to users to guide their input. For example, in a recommendation system, implicit prompts might be based on user behavior or preferences such as past purchases or ratings. Adaptive prompts are prompts that are adjusted based on user input or behavior. These prompts can be designed to provide personalized guidance to individual users based on their past behavior or preferences. In addition to these types of prompts, there are several other factors to consider when designing prompts, such as the frequency of prompts, the format of prompts, and the level of interactivity. For example, the frequency of prompts can impact user engagement and performance. Too many prompts can be overwhelming, while too few prompts can lead to errors or irrelevant input. The format of prompts can also impact user engagement and performance. Different formats such as text, images or audio can be used to make prompts more engaging and relevant to users. Finally, the level of interactivity can impact user engagement and performance. More interactive prompts, such as those that allow for user feedback or provide real-time guidance, can lead to better performance and user satisfaction. By understanding the different types of prompting and considering these other factors, we can design more effective prompts that improve the performance of machine learning models and provide better results to users. Overall, prompting is a critical tool in prompt engineering that can be used to guide user input and improve the performance of machine learning models. By understanding how to design effective prompts and considering the different types and factors involved, we can create more useful and accurate machine learning models that better meet the needs of users. Thank you for sticking with me up to the end of this lecture and I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will be talking about priming prompts. Lecture 4. Priming Prompt In this lecture, we will dive deeper into the topic of priming prompt and explore how it can be used in prompt engineering to improve the performance of machine learning models. Priming prompt is the process of presenting users with a series of prompts or questions that help them focus on a specific aspect of the task or input. By priming users in this way, we can help them better understand the task at hand and provide more relevant and accurate input to the machine learning model. There are several different types of priming prompts that can be used in different contexts, including goal-oriented prompts, context-setting prompts, and self-reflection prompts. Goal-oriented prompts are designed to help users focus on a specific goals or outcomes related to the task at hand. For example, in a language translation task, a goal-oriented prompt might ask users to focus on translating a specific sentence, structure, or vocabulary term. Context-setting prompts are designed to provide users with context about the task or input. For example, in a recommendation system, a context setting prompt might provide users with information about the product category or user preferences. Self-reflection prompts are designed to encourage users to reflect on their own thoughts and feelings about the task or input. For example, in a sentiment analysis task, a self-reflection prompt might ask users to reflect on their emotional response to a piece of text. By using priming prompts, we can help users better understand the task at hand and provide more relevant and accurate input to the machine learning model. This can improve the performance of the model and provide more useful results to users. However, it's important to carefully design and test priming prompts to ensure that they are effective and not overly burdensome for users. Poorly designed or excessive priming prompts can lead to user frustration and reduced performance. Overall, 
Priming prompts are a powerful tool in prompt engineering that can be used to improve the performance of machine learning models. By understanding how to design and implement effective priming prompts, we can create more useful and accurate machine learning models that better meet the needs of users. Thank you very much for sticking with me up to the end of this lecture and I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will be talking about task decomposition. See you there. Lecture 5. Task Decomposition In this lecture we will dive deeper into the topic of task decomposition and explore how it can be used in prompt engineering to improve the accuracy and efficiency of machine learning models. Task decomposition is the process of breaking down complex tasks into smaller, more manageable subtasks that can be easily addressed by machine learning models. By breaking down a task into smaller subtasks, we can design more effective prompts that guide the input to the model and improve its overall performance. There are several methods for task decomposition including identifying common patterns in data and breaking down tasks into smaller subtasks. For example, in natural language processing applications, we can break down the task of answering questions into subtasks such as identifying keywords, understanding the question structure, and generating a response. Another example is in recommendation systems where we can break down the task of suggesting products into subtasks such as understanding the user's preferences, identifying relevant products, and predicting the user's likelihood to purchase each product. By leveraging task decomposition, we can create more efficient and effective machine learning models that are better able to meet the needs of users. We can also improve the interpretability of these models by breaking down complex tasks into simpler subtasks that are easier to understand and explain. Overall, task decomposition is a powerful tool in prompt engineering that can be used to design more effective prompts and improve the accuracy and efficiency of machine learning models. By understanding how to decompose tasks and design effective prompts, we can create machine learning models that are better able to meet the needs of users and provide more accurate and useful results. Thank you very much for sticking with me up to the end of this section, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will take a look at exactly the steps to take in order to sell online prompts online. And that will include key strategies of selling AI prompts as well as examples of websites where you can sell them on.